Here's problem 3719. Monochromatic light, wavelength 500 nanometers, is incident on a soap bubble of index refraction 1.4. How thick is the bubble in nanometers if destructive interference occurs in the reflected light? All right, let's visualize what's going on here. We have a soap bubble of some thickness. And we have light coming in. Some of it's refracted towards the normal and then reflected internally off the second surface and then refracted away from the normal as it comes out. So we're going to have interference between these two signals coming out. Now going from a lower index to a higher index, the index being uh, higher in the soap bubble, we would have that there would be a phase reversal on this first reflection but no phase reversal on the second reflection. So we're going to have one phase reversal due to one of the re reflections. So left just to that, that would give us destructive interference. However, we have a path difference to consider as well. Within the bubble, the wavelength of the light is going to equal the wavelength outside the bubble divided by the index refraction of the, of the material, the bubble material. That's going to be equal to 500 nanometers divided by 1.4 or 357 nanometers. So that is the wavelength inside the bubble. We want that the total extra path traveled by the second ray be uh, totally in phase, uh, be integral number of wavelengths, so that the one phase reversal will give us destructive interference. So we're going to be constrained to have that an integral number of the wavelengths inside the medium is going to be equal to two times the thickness of the medium because that is the path difference between these two rays. Solving for the thickness then, we have that the thickness will be equal to some integer times the integral or times the wavelength inside the medium divided by 2. So that's going to be equal to m times 357 nanometers divided by 2, and that will give us 178.5 nanometers times m. So these uh, we can have various thicknesses where m is a integer, uh, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. So if we want the um, the smallest thickness possible, we'll just choose m to e equal 1 in this case. So our thickness in this case would be 178.1, all right, 0.5 nanometers, and that will be the thickness of the film that will cause destructive interference because of that one phase reversal of the first um, interface.